So during the last few days, I've been playing solo queue almost exclusively, of course, ranking up and then ranking down a lot because I didn't listen to my last tip. And, um, there's been a lot of fun with the solo queue, but a lot of hatred with solo queue also. But essentially what I just want to say to you guys today is my top five tips to ranking up while playing solo queue. Um, of course, this does apply mostly to solo queue, and if you are playing in a group play, some of these still apply, but solo is especially where these will come into play the most. With that said, let's go into some of these tips. And the first one that I want to talk about is that you should be always trying to find a group while playing with randoms while ranking. Um, so essentially, whenever you play a game while ranking, you should try to look for the best players on your team, or the players with mics that are doing the best. And then after the game ends, try to invite them to your group. Now, of course, they might not always accept you, or if you're doing bad yourself, they're probably not going to accept you. But if you're doing decent, or if you're playing a healer, or if you're playing a tank, a lot of times people will accept you. And what are the benefits of having extra people in your group? Well, the first and main benefit is that if you and that person aren't trolls, there's only four chances left on your team that there's going to be a troll. So it does decrease the amount of trolls you get um, in total. And as well with that, it decreases the amount of bad players, because I'm assuming you're a decent player, and if you have a decent teammate, well, there could only be four bad players left. So, of course, that's how it goes. And with the more and more uh, people you find to join to your group, of course, the better and better you should be doing. So, yeah, there's less chances of trolls, and there's more chance of you having good players. So, there you go. That's a very good tip. Just try to find randoms. And, of course, you don't always have to keep playing with them for game after game after game. Sometimes you can just play one or two games with them, maybe even three, and then just try to find a new group the next time. Either way, this works, you know. The next thing I want to say, and this is the thing I really have problems with because I don't have a headset on me right now, is that you should always play close attention in the game and try to listen to things like footsteps, listen to things like where the rockets are hitting on the ground, where Junkrat is shooting. And I, why I say this is because it can tell you the exact location of the enemies and this is super important especially if you're playing a flanker like genji if you're playing tracer or if you're playing somebody like reaper if you can hear where the opponent is before they can hear you you got them on the hook if they're just walking somewhere and you hear them you could jump around the corner bang 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 kill them well, at the same time, let's say you're playing with really high music, let's say you're playing, talking a lot with your friends, of course it's very nice talking to your friends, very fun, but at the same time if you're talking too much, you can't really hear these footsteps, you can't hear what's going on, and you won't really be able to sneak up on anyone, and the opponent could probably actually sneak up on you instead. So yeah, I'd say try to pay a lot closer attention to the things that you probably wouldn't say really matter as much, just the sound indicators, as those can really tell you where the enemies are before you can even see them, and they can really give you the heads up on the opponent before they even know you're nearby, especially if they have like music or something like that. Um, the third thing after that, of course, is the thing that I always recommend, is try to play a tank on your team and try to guide your team for one to go in, one to not go in, try to get some really nice engages, and you're probably going to win a lot more often. If you're playing someone like a flanker, if you're playing very well, you can carry quite easily. But if you're playing, you know, decently, you won't often carry. But if you're playing a tank or playing a healer uh, like Lucio, where people usually get next to you, then you can just run in, try to win, and you can do really well. You can actually carry your team quite easily with tanks. Um, so that is another thing that I recommend, especially in solo queue. Uh, the thing after that is that you also want to have a main in this, a main that you can carry with, such as if you're really good at Far, good at Junkrat, if you're really good at, like, Widowmaker, you want to have a main that you can carry the majority of your games with. But you also do want to be a flexible player. You want to have so that you can definitely carry with that character. Um, for me, for example, right now my main's probably actually Reinhardt. I really like playing Hanzo, but Reinhardt's the person I'm playing the most in ranked. So you want to have that main, but you also do want to be flexible and have other heroes that you can play. For example, with me, I like to play a lot of Reaper. I also like to play a lot of Junkrat and a lot of Mercy. So as you can see, I'm pretty flexible, and you want to be flexible as well. You want to have quite a few characters that you can switch to, and quite a number of roles that you can change to as well. So if your team needs that role to be filled, you can fill that role. Let's say that you have two tanks. Let's say that you have like a D.Va and a Zarya, and maybe Reinhardt's not going to do the best right now. Well, you could try to switch to Reaper to try to take out the enemy tanks and make your team win like that. Or let's say that you just have no healer, switch from Reinhardt, switch to that Mercy. This is what I have to do a lot of the time. And this will just make you win quite a few more games. You want to be very flexible, and you want to be able to fill what your team needs. And you want to only have a few extra people that you can switch to. You don't want to have it where you switch to every other character in the game, because simply put, you probably can't get that great at every character in the game really quickly. I mean, if you had enough time and enough practice, you could. But I'd say maybe only learn four or five characters, and then just play everyone else for fun and quick play. But play those four or five in competitive rank the most, and um, have that one main, and then the four other characters that are like your sub-mains, your people that you play a lot, and the people that you can switch to and win with quite easily. And then the final thing that I want to say, and this is the thing that I've been struggling with so much because I want to play ranked. I want to get to that rank 60. I was at rank 57 almost. I was like six, 56 and like three-fourths um, after just a few games. Um, but what I've been having a huge problem with is playing games, starting to lose one or two, and then just keep playing. I would play 
you know, lose one or two games, I'd be like, you know, I've gone down maybe one and a half ranks, but I can keep playing. So I'd play two, three, four, even five more games, lose the majority of them because I'm somewhat tilted and just think that I'm going to lose anyway. And there we go. I've lost seven games in a row and I'm down a ton of rank. So my tip from here is if you start losing a few games, if you're starting to get a losing streak, stop playing the game, take a break for even a day, a few hours. And if you're really, really tilted, take a break for like three or four days. Um, that's what I had to do in like League of Legends. I got really tilted sometimes. So just take a break for a few days and just play other games, play quick play, just practice at the game. Don't really worry about having to take a break. It's, it's normal. Everyone should do it. If you're losing a few games, take a break. There's no negative to this. It's just good. It lets you cool yourself off. It lets you get back into that good competitive winning mindset. And it's just something that I had a huge struggle with. I wanted to get that rank 60. I know you guys will probably want to get that rank 60, 50, 70, any rank. You just want it right then, right now. But you got to wait. You got to wait until you're cooled off, until you're ready to play the game, until you're good. Just don't let yourself tilt and go on a big lose streak. This is what I did last week. I went on a huge lose streak. Went from like 57 down to like 53. So yeah, don't let that happen. Just keep yourself cool. Keep yourself calm. And if you are doing bad, if you are starting to lose quite a few games, stop playing. There's no one forcing you to play the game. And right now, since there's really no rewards, there's no reason to even really rank up. So you shouldn't really worry way too much about your rank. You should still be trying to play to win. You should still try to play as much as you want. But if you are worried about your rank that much, give it some time, let it settle, and then once you start to get back into the right mindset, you can play a few more games and you can try to win those few more games and carry those games like you should have been doing earlier. Um, it's just something that's very hard to do when you're tilted, when you're angry, when you're just angry about your losses. For example, if you lose a coin flip, get defense, and then lose, like I got for six games in a row, um, <laughs> then you might get a little bit angry, like I was. So, yeah, try not to do that, try to give yourself a break. And restart, recompile yourself, and get ready to play more games in the future. You can, of course, also play other less competitive games if you just want to play them randomly online. You know, there's some Pokemon, there's Webkins, you know, um, Neopets, whatever the heck you want to play. Club Penguin, if you're one of those people, you know, you got to be legit. But yeah, just take a break, do something else, and that's just probably the best tip I can give you. Just, just take a break, and it'll really help you a lot. Anyways, that's all I'm going to say. I hope that these tips will help you a little bit while ranking up in solo queue. Of course, they've been helping me quite a bit. Um, as always, it's better to play with friends. It's better to play with as many people as you can get. Better to get yourself a group. And in solo queue, I'd say if you're finding people in a group by yourself, that's, that's technically not solo queue, but I'd count it as solo queue. Um, so yeah, try to do that. Try to find a group. That's the biggest probably thing you can even do is having a group. That's the easiest way to carry. But if you can't have a group, these are some nice tips that can help you. These are nice tips that can uh, help you improve and just let you be better at the game. But anyways, thank you all for watching hope you enjoyed leave a like if you did enjoy the video and if it helped you even a little bit and of course as always have a wonderful day